your wastewater or water treatment facility, as well as your water distribution network, are a complex set of interlocking steps that rely on each other to work at optimum levels. This is part two of a three-part series about how Siemens can improve your systems while simplifying your life. Let's look at the world of digitalization. Taking the information from your smart instrumentation and putting it in the hands of the right people is the challenge of the 21st century. How can you extract what you need and get it to the people who need to see the data and make the appropriate decisions? That, my friend, is where digitalization comes in. Digitalization consists of several parts and comes with its own set of concerns. There is a wealth of information available from today's process measurement instrumentation, and Siemens is at the leading edge of this. But having the information and using it are two different things. How can you take this measurement and diagnostic treasure trove and put it to best use? In addition to measurements at the highest possible accuracies, today's smart measurement products offer in-depth diagnostic assessments that help in the identification of problems or even potential problems before they occur. Alerts can be issued so operators can take steps to mitigate or remediate the causative issue. This can help operators to get their plants back online in the shortest possible time frame. Digitalization is quickly dissolving the boundaries that exist between physical systems, processes, and operations of plants and their digital twins. Simply put, a digital twin is a virtual proxy for each of a plant's assets, and it can be extended to model and simulate the operation of an entire plant. It can help operators understand, predict, and optimize plant performance in order to improve plant-wide treatment efficiencies, including reducing energy use. Digital twins can be used for plant resiliency planning by simulating what-if scenarios that would be difficult, if not impossible, to model otherwise. Connectivity is at the core of the Internet of Things, with the industrial Internet of Things as a specialized subset that can link field-level devices to higher-level systems, either on-premise or in the cloud, for processing data. Increasingly, this connectivity is wireless at the field level, but can also involve legacy wired communications. For example, wireless communications at pumping stations, which are frequently remote and below surface levels, can be facilitated by digitalized switches and access devices. These can be housed in waterproof cabinets inside the pumping stations with elevated antennas to provide communications back to a central system management location. In cases of natural disasters, such IIoT configurations can help provide critical status reports of pumping station conditions so plant operators can get their better situational visibility and intelligence. Now they can prioritize their response most effectively. Communication protocols can include IEEE 802.11 Wi-Fi, 802.16 YMAX, 4G LTE cellular, and, if necessary, in especially remote locations, satellite communications. Cloud platforms, modeled similar to electric utilities, provide a combination of computing, storage, networking, cybersecurity, and application utilities with virtually unlimited on-demand scalability. For plants and associated pumping stations, cloud-based systems can be impervious to extreme weather events, floods, earthquakes, and other natural disasters. Because the water industry is a critical infrastructure and cyber threats are increasing in frequency and sophistication, it's key that both plants and water delivery systems be monitored 24-7, 365. The cybersecurity concept protects all the relevant levels simultaneously, from the plant management level to the field level, and from access control to communications security. It includes plant security as well as network security and system integrity, hardening plant security and reducing vulnerability risks. Of course, maximizing plant and water delivery resiliency depends on having systems and equipment well maintained at all times because poorly maintained equipment can break down under the additional stress that storm waters can bring. That's where analytics of plant sensor data can reveal performance anomalies and deviations from expected system behavior patterns. Once you have the information safely in the cloud, how can you put your critical information in the hands of those who need it, wherever they are? Want to learn more? Go to the third part of our series, covering the Siemens Smart Monitoring App. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.